made the world a little better place. Delson, I may have a lead on one of the bioterrorists to escape from the bus crash. Fine, lay it on me. I'm still at the station. Not a great place to talk. Uh, I'll meet you at 4th and Vickers. improvement.
today as an unidentified man scaled Seattle's iconic Space Needle and attached an enormous banner to its spire. And all the meaning of the flag symbol and the identity of the banner man both remain mysteries. What is clear is that Seattle's bioterrorist population... Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? That'll help. Nelson, sorry, man, I got hung up. But I found out there's this bioterrorist maniac. Yeah, I, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterrorist? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. I just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous. Yeah. Listen, Delson, it, it's gonna be police officers at this crime scene, okay? Not DUPs. Now, I'm here to support you, but killing cops... I got it, I got it. I'll put my phasers on stun. Okay, I did it your way. I'm past your boy. Well, found the victim. Thank Definitely you. the work of a... Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not gonna use them? Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. Power did this. Fire blast or lasers. Ooh, what about flesh eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Banner Man. Bro, you really need to let that go. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. The DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Reg, I got a convoy of dupes heading to the scene. Yeah, um, might want to steer clear of them. this little pep talk, but you got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. Must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. It's 
No, it's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that. I can shoot missiles from my hands? Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay, I just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. Guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy sh Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Found our sniper going after him. Be careful. Real original advice. Wait, 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 wait. Don't impale me. I come in peace. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. Would you slow down? I'm not gonna hurt you. God, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh-eating death gaze. I'm with that. Now don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I. Just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Uh, must be his power source. 
Head back to the sign, see what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like, lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Uh, look, just... Send me photos of anything you think might help. I wonder who Brent is. I can't help you there. Okay, I can see how you might think those are women's shoes. Yeah, they're like size negative. Like, seriously? A serial killer who reads Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. It's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, I'll get lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death, a single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. Sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah. Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. All right, I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. Looks like a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up, scare them a little, destroy their stash. Delson, I heard shots. Did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man, but they were trying to do their duty as criminals. Damn it, the gate in front of the alley's locked. Well, I didn't stop you back at the cannery. Fretch. You should see this, man. Speedy Gone Crazy is a tagger. It's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? You gotta admit, pretty damn girl makes a mean too. vortex. You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended.
She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. Thank <laughs> you.